Tonight, help is here for hospitals struggling to bear the brunt of the COVID-19 pandemic. As in many parts of the country, the National Guard has been called in to help alleviate stress in medical centers across Northeast Ohio. And as Lydia Espara reports, their arrival is welcome relief. It's been this moment captured in these pictures. <laughs> University Hospitals has been waiting for. The staffing levels have been very challenging. I mean, like many other industries, we've had a labor shortage throughout the better part of 2021. But then on top of that, over the last few weeks, we've really had hundreds of our team members sidelined with COVID. Help has arrived at last by the way of the Ohio National Guard. They arrived on Monday and hit the ground running. Governor DeWine authorized the deployment of the National Guard. And then we were working through the Ohio Hospital Association last week to help uh, outline our needs. And here are their needs. University Hospitals has 23 hospitals. More than 1,000 employees are sick. Throughout the system, 500 patients are hospitalized with COVID. The majority of them, the unvaccinated. Beds are at 95% capacity. And that's why the National Guard is here. They will help clean rooms, transport patients, change beds, and basically, be another set of non-medical hands. Strosaker is glad they are here because this surge will not end soon. We're continuing to see a steady rise in our hospitalizations. And so, you know, we are very concerned. We know that there were a lot of people who gathered over the weekend and will likely gather next weekend. And so we're very concerned what those gatherings will do to both the uh, case counts as well as the hospitalization rates. The National Guard will work with UH and other hospitals. 1,050 of them have been called. UH Parma got five of them. It's worth saying this over and over again. You should not come to the emergency room if you're getting tested for COVID. They are no longer, no emergency room is testing for COVID. So either try and get your hands on one of those tests or go to a center that is testing for it. Lydia Aspara, 3 News.